Hello Aries, welcome to your weekly intuitive reading. I hope that you are doing well. We are in some definitely some challenging and uh, exhilarating, uh, life-changing energies right now as I'm doing this reading. Coming off of the new moon in Gemini, which really high was highlighting. I did do a collective reading on this if you want to check that out for more details, but highlighting the duality within us, right? The Jekyll and Hyde, certain aspects of ourselves that kind of take over at times and we were recognizing there's awareness and that is the first step, but then we need to continue to embody, embrace the true aspects of ourselves that we want to move forward with. Uh, at the same time, Saturn station retrograde, Saturn in Pisces, uh, this is um, definitely highlighting aspects of ourselves that... Uh, so Saturn is the planet of discipline, of structure, of rules. We're talking universal laws, not man-made laws, of um, this father time. It can also be very karmic, learning lessons, understanding. And um, so following our innate need to be responsible for ourselves and put us in a, a, a space that um, feels safe and secure uh, with Pisces energy. Pisces wants to be free and fluid and flowing. Do you feel free in the areas of life that you have um, placed yourself in when it comes to being, being responsible for yourself, for your life? Or do you feel boxed in again? This is what's coming up and people are seeing like, damn it, I did it again. I, I made this choice. It felt like it was the right choice, but now I'm starting to see that I just repeated a whole pattern all over again. So we'll have a lot of time to review with Saturn and retrograde. I believe it will be retrograde until this fall. So we have some time there to play with that energy. Pluto is still squaring the north and south node, uh, uh, nodes of the moon, which are getting ready to change signs soon. So this energy is extremely intensified now. Um, a lot of us are um, getting to getting a chance to uh, learn from certain aspects of certain relationships, especially lessons that we may have skipped over. Uh, so there could, I'm going to give an example. There could have been a, a relationship from the past that was designed to teach you, teach you something big about yourself and show you something big about yourself and your habits, patterns, programming, so forth and so on. Yet it became so painful or uncomfortable that a lot of times we tend to just like leave the relationship and wash that away, like done with that. But then comes along another, the next relationship, we're repeating a cycle and it takes a while before we actually see or understand that I just took that old relationship and now it's in a, a new body, a new form, a new person, but the energy feels about the same. Although we're going back over old lessons that we skipped over that um, are important for us to learn and grow and evolve from. So. Let's see what comes through for you, Aries, sun, moon, or rising. Keep in mind, these are general messages, so take what resonates for you. If it's not resonating, check with your moon sign, your rising sign, or any of the other zodiacs that may speak to you or stand out. We are doing this reading with a new deck that I just picked up in Sedona, Arizona last week called the Shamanic Healing Oracle. This deck, I don't personally pick out the decks, but they speak to me from the shelf saying, I'm for you. <laughs> I want you to read from me. So that's sort of what happened with this deck. So anyway, let's get started with your reading. Aries, sun, moon, or rising.
We have a lot more energy that we are also working with right now. Um, some of them can feel challenging. They are emotional. Right now, as I'm doing this reading, the moon is in Cancer still, which is um, can be emotional, very sensitive. So we have healing energy and stripping away illusions. Yes, so that is beautiful. There is supportive energy for healing. Some, we'll see if you're running from that. A lot of times we run from these, the the need to um, when certain emotions come up. Uh, a lot of us don't want to feel that again, and we run. But you can run, you can hide, but eventually the energy is going to catch up with you because you're carrying the energy in your field. Um, all right, let's keep going for Aries. So you are going through a healing process. And as the Neptunian fog lifts, we are stripping away illusions. Things that we may have thought or believed to be true are now turning around to show that the trickster energy, you had fallen for the trickster energy, basically. Um, Playing tricks with the mind, playing tricks with your perception. And, you know, these are also designed to show us ourselves and how we react and respond to certain things. And, you know, what do we do? We turn around and project and blame and judge. And all the while it was meant to show you an aspect of yourself. What else do we have for Aries? Thank you. Joy. Bottom of the deck, we have home. Very interesting here. So what I'm getting, slow but steady, what I'm getting here is that there are aspects in your healing journey that are linked to your home and family life that may have been carried from your past to the present. And it is now time to really dive deep into that and, and heal what needs to be healed. There's supportive healing energy. Also, there's energy that is now stripping away that trickster energy, stripping away the illusions. This is gonna open your heart up. This is going to actually bring you more of that childlike wonder, joy, happiness uh, in, in life. So that is beautiful. But we have to come to terms with ourselves. All right, we're going to go right to tarot. For Aries. It's a very humbling journey at times, especially when we are faced with um, our past, faced with difficult emotions, and when we realize um, what we may have believed to be true is not, and then we see who we become, who we had been how we reacted and responded to something that isn't even true. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So this energy is, is telling me that through the healing journey, there were times in your life where you took the time to really think like, I think that um, I need to do something different. I feel like I've put enough effort and work and energy into something and now I'm thinking, mm, I might wanna change direction, something new. In reverse, it's like having that epiphany but not acting on it staying in the same energy. So this is something that you're healing from. The healing energy is supporting you. Oh, okay.
Tripping illusions. Well, look at here. We've got the five of pentacles in reverse. Stripping away illusions. You may have felt very separated from others and like not, not belonging, not fitting in, not trusting, not trusting others, not trusting a situation that it was going to take from you and leave you with nothing those illusions are being stripped away now so how did you react and respond to that energy that belief and understand where that comes from deeper from childhood okay beautiful six of wands okay so you're actually going through this. I just read into Capricorn's energy and Capricorn is a little more resistant <laughs> um, to going into the healing of the past. But I see Aries that you are um, going along so far with the reading. You're going along with the energy that is designed to actually keep you from repeating a cycle over again. You may have repeated this lesson or cycle m multiple times in your life until finally you get it. It's like, okay, I can't run away from myself anymore. I can't not feel these feelings. I got to understand why I had that experience, what it was meant to show me and teach me. And what was it I was believing that actually isn't even true? So um, embracing joy, nostalgia, happiness in life. This is something you are finally coming into a victory about. True joy and happiness. Taking some downtime to rest. Maybe um, paying attention more to your home and family life right now. And getting your, yeah, the hermit below that. Oh, Knight of Cups. So there's definitely something that you want to express from the heart to somebody because of this realization, the illusions being stripped away. But you do need the tower in reverse. You do need some time, downtime alone to really process and reflect on everything a little bit deeper. So, okay, beautiful. Love it. Mm. <laughs> well, okay. Aries, sun, moon, rising. And Aries, uh, I forgot to mention, I am open again for personal reading. So if you are interested in having a one-on-one -on -one personal reading with me, you can book that through my website, which is bethechange333.com. The information is in the description box below this video, uh, along with all the other information that you, my social media accounts and but check out the website. There's a lot of good things on there. I have blogs written with a lot of really helpful material for the awakening journey. So, all right. Let's keep going for Aries. Seems like, Aries, you are finally ready to make some sort of great change. Uh, embracing this healing energy that is coming in. To really support you in this next leap into uh, the unknown which Aries that the fool is your card your energy I don't feel like you have a problem leaping into the unknown you can be quite um, impulsive maybe even having some impulse control issues at times yet uh, there's something big that it's taking you a while to um, make adjustments and changes because there was some deep healing that was necessary. Deep self-awareness, self-understanding and understanding the spiritual aspect, the Hierophant. I think that was the Hierophant. Understanding this, this on a spiritual plane instead of the dense third dimensional earthly plane. Yes, the Hierophant. Beautiful. Here we go. Self-understanding, self-awareness, self-knowledge, and really seeing things from a, a more spiritual, lesson-based experience. 
Chiron energy also, our deepest core wounds from childhood, understanding the aspects and parts of ourselves that are sometimes hidden from us <laughs> and they come out and it's a know thyself. This is all about self-awareness and self-understanding this game of life, so to speak, because if you don't know yourself fully, then you're really going to be confused by all of the cosmic energies that are constantly reflecting to us through other people and other experiences. So again, check out my website. We've got the seven hermetic principles on there, some of the universal laws that are in play, um, that, that will always and forever be the true laws of the universe such as gravity, you know, you can't change that. It's, it is what it is. So we have to strip away all the false beliefs, the false pretenses, the programming, the conditioning, the illusions that we have been operating in and believing for so long. Queen of Pentacles. Now the Queen of Pentacles energy is um, giving and supportive and compassionate. I feel like Aries, there's something, as these illusions begin to strip away the Queen of Pentacles can also be focused too much on superficiality, and but I'm not getting that from this card. What I'm getting is someone who cares and someone who is generous and giving truly from the heart, compassionate, um, down to earth. I see some green. Someone very down to earth and connected. Oh, here we go with the squirrels coming to steal the bird seed. One moment, Aries. <laughs> I have to get them off of the bird feeder. Sorry about that. Disrupting my readings. So, as the illusions begin to strip away, the fear um, that initially was brought up for you is um, fading with that. And um, I feel like you're starting to feel like I, I really want to give to a situation, a person, or just in life in general. I'm no longer feeling like I'm going to be taken advantage of or something's going to be taken from me or someone's going to be taken from me. And, you know, truly understanding how we operate and how we behave and act and project when we are in that fear, like something is going to be taken from me or someone's taking advantage of me or any of those things, these are childhood wounds. And how, who do you become when you're triggered into those deep core wounds? So there could be some guilt and shame that comes up, but I'm not really picking up on that so much, which is good because you don't want to hold on to that either. You're going to just drag your journey out into more unnecessary pain. Self-inflicted, self-sabotage. Okay, beautiful, the world. Completion. Completion of a cycle, and look at there. Three of wands. Beautiful. Really, truly taking um, the steps to connect to spirit, to the earth, to the sun. Um, feeling much more grounded and connected to life itself as you are really completing a massive cycle, Aries. Beautiful, beautiful. Now it's important to integrate uh, the lessons that you've learned 
I don't think that you're going to forget them. I feel like they're going to stay with you like, oh, I got this one this time. I may have ran away from this lesson way back when, but it kept, it, it caught up with me and now I get it. I get it. Or Hierophant. I get it. Aha. One more, one more spread for Aries, sun, moon, rising. The Four of Swords really is taking that time, you know, rest the mind. He's done some hard work here and you're healing from it. Very humbling journey. But you, you, you're really picking up on what the universe is putting down now for you, which is beautiful. Emotional withdrawal. So yeah, you, you're as you're, you're going through this healing energy here and learning more about yourself and your journey, you are pulling your energy back to yourself withdrawing from interactions with with you know, any drama or any other situations or even something that you're working through right now and just getting more into a meditative state of um awareness that's that's beautiful not engaging right now it is time for healing Self-understanding, self-awareness, foundation, and achievements. Kind of just reiterating what I said here. You all have achieved this, um, this awareness. And this is the fundamental foundation of self, of self-awareness. And um, we can place this into your entire... Uh, security and um of, of all that you have gone through and achieved up until this point because you're taking the best qualities of yourself and and using them to move forward stripping away from the illusions that were playing out the trickster energy that was playing out you now see the aspects of yourself that you do not want to carry forward and so that is a beautiful thing. You have a new solid foundation you can start off with. Because when we give, but we don't really have that in us to give, then we hold grudges. <laughs> we hold resentments. And um, that's not where you're at. It's where you may have been in the past. But now you can give freely because your cup is overflowing. I don't see that card here because you're still working on that sense of fulfillment. But when we have more than we need and we give, we're not depleting ourselves. And I'm talking giving emotionally, giving physically, giving intuitively, psychologically. We give compassion, love, caring. We can give materialistically you know, to those in need or just because we want to show that I care and I love you and I want you to have this. So obstacles and challenges is the overall trapped in fear, victory and success. We've got victory, victory as you're completing uh, the world with joy. So you're unlocking, well, here you were trapped in fear in a cage, but the door has been opened. But uh, maybe you still stayed in this cage for a while because it was more familiar to you than the unknown out there. But you're overcoming that. Definitely overcoming that. Had a lot of obstacles and challenges to really navigate through. Standing your ground, though. Continuing to persevere through the obstacles and challenges. So that is beautiful. Aries, let's get you some advice. What do we want to pull from for Aries? We are going to go with the Oracle of the Seven Energies. For you. An 
as a nice energetic exchange Aries if you are liking this video please click that like button the thumbs up like button underneath the video uh, it really helps with the algorithms and YouTube and feel free to comment I'd love to read all of your comments and if you're not subscribed please subscribe I truly appreciate all of you who do take the time to do all of these things and uh, we're growing the channel is growing and I could not be more excited to see where the universe takes us from here <laughs> so let's keep going advice for Aries please no we're not gonna take all those but let's take a peek opening to discovery the call of the muse and a deep breath you may have somebody who acts as a muse for you sense of inspiration to become your true authentic self you're becoming more and more open to some things that are very new to you and yet they're not I'm hearing high priestess so they're new but there's a deep innate primordial knowing that you already knew this to begin with we have a beautiful uncaging i love it does so in the cage reverse you're being uncaged aries i love it i love it i love it all right so number 14 <sighs> let's read this from the book for you at this time, you're being called to assess where guilt is playing a part in your life. Recognize how it's affecting you and others and address it so you can release yourself from its grip. Guilt is a powerful emotional state capable of transforming difficult situations. It keeps you accountable for your actions when you've done something that causes harm. However, it can also feed a self-sabotaging cycle that fosters codependency and a distorted sense of personal power. Self-blame can lead to behaviors that perpetuate low self-worth. Have you done or said something for which you need to make amends? Have you disregarded a boundary or broken a promise? Guilt can make you aware of, potential, of the potential ways you have given injury and show you how to redress the transgression. When you sincerely admit you are wrong and begin the process to fix it, this is an act of accountability, responsibility, and liberation. Take a moment now to consider when you have harmed others or yourself. This knowledge will free you from the story you tell about it so you're able to connect with truthful remorse. Now is the time for rigorous honesty as you take a self inventory with a neutral state of mind. A good question to ask yourself now is why the guilt is there. You might be taking on a burden that is not even yours to carry. Pay attention, take action, and uncage yourself from the prison of your own making. Well, wow, Aries, you can't make it up. That is so perfect, and I may even um, title that for your video here. So I hope that this was helpful for you. Sending you out so much love. Take care. Bye.